Uh, Coach, 16 teams wake up today one and one. That's kind of how this league goes. Uh, you're going to lose games, but having now watched the game film, uh, what disappointed you the most? What did you get out of it? Well, what disappointed us the most, that's an easy one, is five turnovers. I mean, five, five to zero in the turnover category. You just can't win in the NFL doing it that way. And everything else we're going to talk about all week is going to be overshadowed by that because when you turn it over that many times, you're just not giving yourself a chance. Uh, you're not giving your defense a chance. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's just not going to work. I think there's like three games in NFL history when the team's been minus five in turnovers that they've been able to win the game. Uh, you know, there's, there's small positives you can take out, but as you said before, Dan, uh, there's a lot of one-on-one -on -one teams today. We sure didn't want to get beat 40-7, to seven, and I, I don't think that's indicative of what kind of a team we are or what kind of a team we will be, but it was yesterday. And so, you know, we have to lick our wounds for, for a day or so, and then on come Wednesday when the players come back from their day off, we got to start getting ready for the home opener. We got to, we got to start a winning streak at home, and we got to be a team that uh, holds home serve every chance we get. And we, we have to realize that we are one and one after two games on the road to start the season. And a lot of people would have picked us to be 0 and 2, but uh, we're off to uh, an okay start. But we're, we got to get better, and I think we will. You knew what was coming. Uh, the, the defense in Arizona lived up to its advertised uh, billing. Uh, are you still surprised to see how much pressure Jameis took? Well, if you really watch that game closely, until the last three series of the game, our pass protection was pretty darn good. The issue wasn't protection, even though there was pressure. The issue was we either turned it over or the throwing and catching part. You know, we we missed we missed or we had uh, breakdowns in our either in our route or James might overthrew a few balls uh, you know we just didn't make some plays that you got to be able to make when a team's bringing pressure they're exposing themselves to uh, giving up big plays down the field and we weren't able to make those plays uh, losing Doug Martin in the game yesterday obviously not good uh, depending on his uh, temporary and current and in, in long-term future in the season uh, could it force the, the offense to make some uh, big adjustments? No, just not, his, not, just his absence. I mean, losing losing Doug is huge because he's one of the top running backs in the league. But uh, you know, in in Charles Sims and Jacquez Rogers, we have two very capable backups. Uh, you know, we'll try to plug things in if Doug can't go that uh, play more to those guys' strengths. But you, you're not going to see major structural changes because you can't at this point. I mean, we're not going to switch over and go to the wishbone or something because because <laughs> we you know because we lose a player. That's the NFL. You're gonna you're gonna have guys in and out of the lineup after the first week of the season. You're never going to be healthy again the rest of the year. And you know, yesterday, unfortunately, we did lose a couple guys. Uh, you know, we don't know at this point for how long we're going to lose them, but whatever it is. You know, we can't make excuses. We can't feel sorry for ourselves. We've got we to gotta move forward. And during the build-up to the game, the, one of the big stories was obviously the adjustments you would have to make on the defensive line coming off injuries uh, and then just preparing for the game itself. How did the line perform to you? And, and again, uh, as you talked about Sunday, uh, no turnovers for the defense, and I'm, I'm sure that's a collective thing, but just the overall performance of that line and, and your thoughts on, the, on yeah. how they did. Well, you know, unfortunately, Robert Ayers was another guy that we lost during the game, and you know, Robert was was brought here to to put pressure on the passer, and he did a good job of that in Atlanta. Robert only played about 20 plays in the game yesterday against Arizona. Uh, he had to go out with an injury, and from that point on, we really weren't able to get pressure with the four-man rush. And we've played two really good quarterbacks to start the year, Matt Ryan and now Carson Palmer yesterday. And when you give Carson that kind of time with a, a you know four-man rush, no matter how good your coverage is, he's going to make some plays down the field, and, and he was able to do that. Um, you know, the flip side of that is Devontae Lambert, when Robert went out, a, a rookie that with, was seeing his first action on the D-line, he got to play 30 plays, and there's a guy that, you know, we're going to need his depth as the season moves on. And uh, Noah Spence gets his first sack of his career. Uh, Howard Jones got to play a few more plays. But, you know, as, as the season wears on here, we're – We've lost Jockey Smith, and then uh, Robert Ayers was out. We're going to have to, we're going to have to be able to pe pressure the passer with a four-man rush, and then obviously Smitty can uh, bring pressure as needed. And finally, we've got a team coming in. We'll sneak peek ahead that they got to win. 
uh, Sunday and a big, big day for them out in Los Angeles. But now you've got a week to look forward to a home game. That's got to change everything for the guys in that locker room. They have got to be feeling really excited about coming back to work quickly and, and uh, getting ready to play this week. Absolutely. I mean, uh, having, having to play your first two games on the road. We're one of only, only three teams that had their first two games on the road. And, uh, you know, so to be coming home this week with all the changes they've made at the stadium, I know the fans were really excited after the Atlanta <laughs> game. I'm sure, I'm sure some oh, of them jumped off. they're mad at you for a day. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure that some of them jumped off. But, hey, this is, this is still our team. This is still the, uh, the Tampa Bay Bucks, and we're making our home uh, debut. We need that place rocking. We need it loud as heck when uh, St. Louis or St. Louis, Los Angeles, <laughs> when Los Angeles has the ball so they can't make their checks. And, uh, Hey, the crowd can play a huge role. We have to play our role much better than we did yesterday, but we're anxious to be playing at home.